First, before getting into the uh, the actual sample itself, just wanted to give an introduction on what exactly these samples are. These are essentially uh, you know common scenarios that we kept hearing again and again from our customers, from other partners, developers that we have been working with. These are very hot trending uh, you know scenarios that our customers deeply care about. So we thought instead of each customer trying to figure out on on, a, on their own, each developer trying to come up with a solution of their own. Uh, why don't we have some starter templates that we can probably probably like build and then share in GitHub as open source, and that would kind of like form like the building block for whatever solution you want to build. So now, if you have a scenario that's somewhat close to one of our templates, you can take the template, you can customize it, you can you can edit it, extend it because it's all open source. You can you can and it's an, uh, under MIT license as well, so you can you can build it however you want and. It, customize it however you want according to your unique requirements and you don't have to start from scratch all the building blocks are going to be available in these samples that we are publishing in github right that's the idea of this these are not really plug and play solutions in the sense like these are not really tested to be like a production ready solution uh, covering all the use cases these are more like a starting building block that you can use to build your own solutions uh, and you don't have to start from scratch that's the idea of these uh, we have we have done, I think, uh, about six samples, and this is uh, this is one of them that I'm going to be presenting. The one that I'm going to be presenting for today's call is basically the A meeting helper, a meeting assistant. This is a very common scenario that you might have heard in a meeting like as such as ours, or even in a large meeting where you are busy talking to your uh, you know teammates, busy talking to your customer, or client, whoever it is. Uh, it'll be helpful if if there is a assistant who takes notes, action items, and kind of like sends it to you proactively. Right, like, like no one wants to do the drudgery work. Uh, it's always very very efficient to have you know a kind of like recognize who's speaking, what's being spoken about, what is the summary, what are the action items that needs to be assigned for different people. So that's kind of like what this sample can, uh, currently handles. Now, uh, one other thing that I wanted to, uh, to uh, kind of like uh, anchor before we move on to the exact sample is uh, this is something that we have published on GitHub, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, you can you can actually like start using this to build your own uh, solution right now. Uh, you can also extend it, make it your own IP. You can you can redistribute it to your customers, partners, whatever it is that you would want. With that. Let me jump into the sample directly. So this is essentially, like I mentioned, uh, a sample that will allow you to uh, get a subscription made to Teams meetings whenever you have a Teams meeting. That is, that is something that you want, that you are currently on, or you would want to uh, join in the future. You can use this app to see what are the upcoming meetings, create a subscription to that particular meeting or a bunch of meetings, and then have uh, the transcript automatically sent to your choice of AI, LLM. It could be OpenAI, it could be Llama, it could be whatever it is, the LLM of your preference. And then using that LLM, you would be able to you know, summarize uh, the meeting notes, the action items, and, and uh, this is all done automatically, proactively. And finally, the summarized version is sent to you as the user. And this can be done for all the participants of the meeting as well. All you have to do is uh, ahead of time, just Look up your meetings, subscribe to the meeting for which you want this to be done, and you are good. Now, while this is the scenario that is possible that we have published in terms of capabilities in GitHub, of course, you can extend it in a number of different ways. Uh, you can actually uh, have the sample extended so that the action items are not just sent as text message to you. You can link it to, say, Planner or your own you know, project management tool of choice and ask it to actually create work items in those. For example, you could be using Trello, you could be using Azure DevOps, you could be using Planner. So using the graph APIs or the corresponding APIs, you can convert these action items into actual trackable work items in those different tools. In addition to this, you can possibly even do an A analysis that kind of like comes up with, hey, did, did we achieve the objective of the meeting? Uh, can Could we have done something better? Imagine this is a sales call and a sales agent is talking to uh, a client and uh, post the meeting, they want to do kind of like a you know analysis. Did I uh, uh, pitch all the right things? Uh, can we do a post call analysis of how my current pitch with the customer was? Uh, could I have done something better? All of this is something that you can actually do 
uh, uh, using this particular sample by just feeding probably an additional context about who the customer is, what you're trying to achieve, and asking the AI to kind of like critic how you have spoken on the call. So that's one of the scenarios, which, which by the way, is a live scenario that I've heard from one of our FSI customers. So the possibilities are endless. It's completely up to you on how you want to customize and extend for your own use case. With that, let me show how this actually works. Uh, so like all teams apps, you can you can uh, kind of like add it from your app store. Once you're once you add it, this has a personal scope bot where you can actually start typing show me you know upcoming meetings. This then uses graph API to list the upcoming meetings for your day. It kind of like lists the next 10 upcoming meetings for now, but you can extend it to whatever logic you'd want. Maybe the meetings that you have, uh, you know, actually sent RSVP yes to or meetings that uh, that are within your within uh, the team that you are part of. So that's a logic that you can customize as well. So once you have this list that is shown to you, you can click off any of these meetings and a subscription will be created. This is basically a, again a graph subscription that is created for the meeting so that our app knows when the meeting has started and when it has ended. And once it ends, it automatically gets the transcript. That's the reason why we are uh, creating a subscription here. Now imagine once you're setting up the subscription, then the meeting actually happens. That's what we are showing over here. Uh, imagine the meeting is going to go like all the participants join in and you have like a really good call. It goes on for like, say, one hour, two hours, whatever it is. You have like a really long call. We are fast forwarding this because this uh, really long transcript uh, and, and, and imagine like it goes on for two hours. Now at the end of the meeting, uh, the, the meeting transcript that gets generated automatically comes to you as a proactive message from the bot. This is the structure that we have currently come up with. Uh, this essentially gives you the name of the meeting, date of the meeting, the summary of what happened over there, action items occur for each person who attended the call. Now, in this case, you see one and two. This is not a bug, by the way. This is basically uh, the, the person who joined the call just said, hey, as an action item, one and two to me, and A interpreted as one and literal one and two, right? So that's, that's uh, kind of like how this currently shows uh, for the end user experience. From a developer side, let's take a peek at how this works, right? This is the GitHub sample that I was talking about, which contains the uh, code for this particular meeting helper is a bot meeting helper. Uh, going through the code, this is essentially using our SDK Teams AA library SDK to set up the bot construct. Teams AA library SDK is basically uh, an a SDK that we have introduced to that extends the already existing bot framework SDK so that you can easily build a enabled bots in teams that works in teams. Uh, the SDK is pretty useful. I would if you have not tried it yet, uh, I would urge you to check it out. Uh, it has a lot of helpful constructs that allows you to uh, do uh, intent handling, action mapping, it can easily help you manage history, conversation context. Uh, you don't have to build many of these things from scratch. So I would strongly urge if you're building a bot, a based bot in Teams that works in Teams, Teams AA SDK is going to be super helpful for you. So we have used that SDK over here. Uh, I will skip over some of the generic bot code because I think most of you would be uh, aware of how the general bot works. Uh, getting into the specifics of how subscription, all of this works. Here is where we are subscribing to a particular meeting. The subscription gets created using the meetings join URL. So when we ask, hey, can you give me all the upcoming meetings? Uh, the meeting object gets uh, gets created and it's sent across. And once uh, a particular meeting uh, object is clicked upon, like when in the drop down list that you get, uh, you click upon a particular meeting object, a subscription gets created. Uh, let me just quickly show the part that, that comes up there. Uh, we are actually creating a subscription here uh, using the join web URL. And that's how this particular subscription uh, kind of like uh, gets gets uh, uh, treated by graph. And whenever um, the, that particular meeting starts, ends, someone joins, someone uh, kind of like leaves the meeting, all those meeting related events is now available for your disposal. You can, you can track them. You can do whatever you want with them. 
In this case, because we only care about the transcript that gets generated at the end of the meeting, we create the subscription so that we get the meeting ended event, the call ended event. So once the call ended event appears for us, once we are able to see that event coming after the subscription is done, what we do is we use get meeting transcription another graph API which gets the transcription for us. So this is something that we do so that uh, we get the transcript after say a certain amount of time the meeting is handed. Now we have a text file which which gives each person uh, name the uh, who, who has spoken during the meeting and also what they spoke during the meeting. So now armed with this information, then now we can actually have uh, you know create the action items, create the logic needed for uh, the summary and and so on, like the age generated summary and age generated action items. This is the most interesting piece of how we have handled, you know, long, really long meetings, right? This this works very easily for like short meetings, right? Like you can just get the entire transcript, do an open AA call, and then you are done because uh, uh, you'll be able to uh, get the entire meeting context into the context window of uh, Azure Open AA model. It could be 8K, 16K, whatever it is. Yeah, you, if it's a short meeting, you don't really have to do much. Uh, you can just add the entire thing into the context window, and you are good. But in most cases, our meetings go for uh, longer duration, one hour, a lot of people speak, and we are not, we, we can't always be sure that the text content of the transcription will always fit into the context window of the model you are using. So for that reason, what we have done is we have chosen a chunk size. Basically, we have chosen a certain size or number of tokens that we can we can potentially allow for a particular model. We have chosen 3000 in this case uh, because the smallest model I think now has a context size of 4000 tokens. So you can essentially uh, get the transcript, chunk it down into different pieces. So for, for uh, if the transcript is say 10,000 tokens, this will split it into four different chunks, uh, each chunk of 3000 and the last chunk being uh, 1000 tokens and each chunk is again going through kind of like an AA call where each chunk is kind of like processed uh, in a different AA call and we call a chat completion API for that particular chunk and then we try to come up with the action item for that particular chunk. So what we are doing is we are splitting the entire meeting transcript into a bunch of chunks for each chunk we call the API to get the action items and at the end of the day, we kind of like merge all the chunks, action items and summary to create one final summary. The reason why we implemented the sample this way is why, yes, the models now have really big context window, uh, you know, um, uh, 32K, uh, 64K. So you have really big context window, but in case you'd want to move to a different models, SLMs and so on, where the context window is, is not going to be that high, then you have the option to chunk it down and you can use this logic to implement your own uh, your own your own chunking methodology so that's the idea of this so once all of this is chunked down we have the meeting summary structure over here meeting name date summary and action item which is what is sent to the uh, to the user in the final window that you see over here so you absolutely have the ability to change the chunking logic, you have the ability to change the chunking size, you have the ability to change what format you want the end report to come up in. So all of this is something that you can customize and make it your own. This is one of the reasons why I think uh, our out of box copilot also creates a notes, uh, meeting action items and so on. But if you want some additional control over how you want the nodes and action items to be represented and you want it to be sent proactively to the participants uh, in the meeting, this is a sample that you can uh, potentially use.